Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Bill and welcome to episode 20 of the Bali United Save. And today we're playing Uriah Red Diamond uh, in the Champions League, Asian Champions League. And then Posarella, I think it is, we get our, our, uh, our league defense, uh, Liga 1 defense underway against them. Now, as you can see, we've just had the 13 players called up into the senior international uh, Indonesian squad. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's good to see that the country is not superly uh, reliant on just Bali United players for their success. Um... Yeah, just the 19 players. Unbelievable. Anyway, guys, there is one game to catch you up on since last episode, and that was our game against uh, Persebaya in the Indonesian Super Cup. Despite dominating most of the match, Persebaya took the lead early in extra time. But Bihiri drew us back level at the second attempt. But Formalia Penny picked down an unmarked Siswanto to secure us the Super Cup. So there you go, we got there in the end. We dominated the game. It would have been an absolute crime against football had we not managed to win it. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, it was a rotated team as well. You can see it, we wasn't, it wasn't our strongest team. Um, so in the end, it was, it was good to get across the line, lift the trophy, uh, albeit in extra time. But yeah, like I said, we got there in the end and that was really, really good to see. Uh, so like I say, today we've got, it's Setayama, but I looked, I've looked it up. It is, you can kind of see it there now. I, now I've, I've looked it up. It's Uriah Red Diamond. So they are a very, very good Japanese team and it is Percerella, uh, in our first league one game of the season. Now I thought we'd have a quick look at what we're expecting here. If the season is indeed about to begin, you can see we're expected to win that, reach the group stage, which we've done there. And these other two things aren't important. But for League One, what is the season preview? I hear you ask. Let's have a quick look at this. Uh, or maybe we should do this before the actual game starts rather than now. But we are the favourites for this one. You can see in the Dream Team, the Media Dream Team, we have Dermerson, Andika, Lily Pally uh, in that lineup. And other key players here. Uh, Melvin is listed as a key player. Um, anybody else here? I mean, surely we've got more than that. Where's Boaz, for example? Not there. Now... I did have another look at Klock. If you may remember, really, really good ball-winning midfielder. He is eligible uh, to play for for Indonesia. But the reason that he doesn't have it yet is you've got to have lived in the country for five years before you can get sort of qualified to play for the country. So he's, it's, only, it's only his third year in the country. So that's why, although he qualifies for an Indonesian passport, that's why he doesn't have it quite yet based on... Uh, oh, we've got Lucel with it as well as the goalkeeper. That makes sense because he is definitely the best goalkeeper in the league. So we've got four players, five, no, four players in the dream team, which is good. Um, so that's, that's the league. And we'll, say we'll get that underway right after we get uh, our, our Asian Champions League game here uh, in the bag. Now, hopefully we'll get a result here because we're at home. In, uh, results at home are going to be important for us. Set them, oh, UIA Red Diamonds, they lost away from home to Burinam. And we did, of course, is smashed too hard of a turn, but we really, we, we gave him a bit of a touch-up. So I'd like to think at home again, we could get a result. We really, really need to win this game though, don't we? So this is what we're expecting. They are the favourites, which is frustrating, but let them be favourites if that's what they want. You can see we don't really have anything by way of a scouting report. We do have, I uh, will know the way they played against Burinam uh, last time out. So if that's the way they play, that'll be challenging for us, I think, though narrow. Um, so we should be able to get maybe down the sides of them. It looks from that as though they like to play uh, with some width as well. Uh, there's their passing network. There are their key passes. A little bit direct perhaps. And this is the team that we are sending out to hopefully get a massive three points in, uh, in on, continent, on, the, on the continent in Asia. I keep saying, I say in Europe. It's really tough to break that, isn't it? So LaSalle goes in goal for this one. And Dika, Basna, Demersen and Letzenen as a back four. Nuri drops back into his halfback role as a really, really good passer of the ball. So I think he'll do a good job for us there. Lily Pally and the fifth again, Melvin, come back into midfield. It's uh, Malia Fenny, it's Harry Addy, it's Boaz up top. We've got a relatively strong bench here as well. Um, I'm cautiously optimistic. And they are not playing the way that we were kind of expecting them to, but that's okay. Uh, we just obviously can't really take anything that we've seen uh, in that in that scouting report, uh, as as said. So we're going to have to just play it by ear a little bit here, encourage the players, give them a little bit of a morale boost. Um, let's give the fans a performance here. Come on, boys. Let's uh, let's go out there. Let's let's show the Bali United fans. Let's show Japanese football what we're all about. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, it is it is a really, really big game. Uh, like a lot of you were saying in the comments after last episode, I think we were really unlucky against John Book, the South Korean team, to have lost that game. It would have been a big point on the road if we could have got it. But back home now, we, the way that the group is shaping up, it is really, really important that we're winning our home games. Now, they are getting a lot of possession here, which I don't particularly love. 
Uh, they're not doing anything with it as of yet. John Book has taken the lead against Burinam. Uh, which, I mean, if, if John Book can go through and sort of dominate, then that might help us get out of the group a little bit. Demersen's there. Demersen, it's... Oh, Melbourne, he's offside. It did look offside. It, did, it really, really did. I, I don't know if we'll see a replay. Um, Demersen, yeah, he's offside, isn't he? He's comfortably offside. Unlucky. I don't. I mean, you wouldn't expect sort of a flick on. I don't think in that situation. So maybe yeah, it's got caught out just a little bit there. Let's give it a show some passion. I don't like a nervous looking Basna, but that's okay. We haven't had possession, but we've we've done a a little bit more with it. We haven't really seen highlights necessarily, but yeah. I really it's a draw or bad result. I mean, given the group, given that Burinam beat them at home, it, it really is a game we need to win, isn't it? Um, what do we say? Well, they, I don't think they were excellent. Um, what do I want to say? What do I want to say? What do I want to say? Uh, da, 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 unlucky. We're not happy. Let's just... No, that might kill their confidence. Um, let's go unlucky. Let's go unlucky. What I don't want to do is tell them that they're rubbish. And let, I mean, let's face it. It is a game that perhaps we've demotivated a crap Basna. Um... I maybe shouldn't have told him he was crap when he's nervous, should I? That was that's my bad. That one. Um, what we really don't want to do is if they, you know, if, if in theory that we are, we're not the favourite, so they probably are doing really well. I, I I feel like we can do better, but we don't want to. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that to Basna. I regret that already. Try a bit of passion for the goalkeeper. But we haven't. They haven't done anything. They haven't threatened us. I wonder if we maybe don't exploit the flanks. Um. Yeah, we'll keep everything else the same. They haven't created anything, so I don't want to necessarily change the way that we're set up defensively because it's 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 real it's, it's no, so far so good on that sense. It is working. Um, I fired them up with the with my uh, show some passion. We look at the bench. I'm wondering if uh, Perini in his pace might be a good option. We've got players that aren't playing well. Here we go with a free kick. It's Nuri over it. Come on, it's be a wonderful time to pick out something from the top draw. And he's been saved. Boaz is there. Is he onside? It looks like he is. But it is hacked away for a throw-in. Uh, all right, so we are going to make changes. I'm going to say Harry Addy's not having a good day. So let's bring on the pacey uh, Perini for him. Malia Fenny's not having a great day. We could always put Boaz out left and then stick Perini over to the right and bring Spasajevic on. Let's just try that for now. A little bit of pace out wide, perhaps, and see where that gets us. Demand more. I mean, we're doing better, aren't we? All right, let's try. Lowering our tempo. Being more expressive, perhaps. Uh, maybe we just need to create better chances. We're running out of time here, aren't we? All right, let's bring Spasajevic on for Melia Fenny and switch those guys around. Let's try Spasajevic. Um, just as an advance forward, let's just stick someone up there and see how we go. All right, here we go with Melvin. Look at the space out wide. There we go. We found Perini. What can he do? Run at them, mate. You've got all the pace in the world. Come on. He gets it. No, it's not there, but Letson's on the overlap. Letson and back to Perini. Can we do something here? Here we go, Melvin. Melvin, look at Lily Pally. Lily Pally have it. It's Boaz. Boaz! Boaz! He puts it away with 15 minutes to go. We take the lead. Excellent, excellent stuff. We needed that. Is that going to now bring them out at us a little bit more just that maybe slowing the tempo down is just let us take our time on the ball a little bit more we looked at that we worked the gap Boaz takes a touch inside his man and the goalkeeper no chance and are we going to beat a Japanese team Uriah Red Diamonds who are, I think they're three or four time Asian champions all right what do we want to do here let's maybe just take it off be expressive uh just try and be a little bit tighter let's Oh, we've got a chance here to double the lead. Boaz, it's to the back post. It's Basner's there. Big Barry Basner can't quite win the head. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Someone get to that. Oh, Jesus. Nuri's there. Lily Pally again for Boaz. Have it, Boaz. Have it, Boaz. Oh, Boaz, he's just too good. It's doubled the lead. And we are 2-0 up against Japanese opposition. And that is surely that now. Let us bring Siswanto on for Melbourne, who's absolutely knackered. Um, let's maybe change his role um you know what we can do actually we can switch them around and we can hit put lily pally i like that that's fine uh yeah that's fine like that um yes yeah, siswanto can definitely play as a deep line playmaker there we go it's two nil though 
It's 2-0, and this is looking as though it well, it better be three points from here, otherwise I'll be slightly annoyed. Nuri did really well. Lily Pally, Lily Pally found Boaz in space, and Boaz takes his time and just plants that in the back of the net. This could be a huge, huge three points. Let's give them some praise. Try and kick on a little bit here. Second half, we've been magnificent. Look at those match ratings. We haven't given them a chance. And they're not scoring twice from here. We have beaten. We've taken three points at home. We needed those three points. The changes have worked, haven't they? We've looked a lot, lot better the longer this second half went on. It took us a long time to find a way through. But once we did, can Boaz get a hat trick? No, it's looking like end of game, isn't it? There it is. That is a huge, huge three points for Bali United. Really, really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. Um, we'll have to say don't get complacent, but I'm really, really happy with that. Oh, dear. Setiyama United shocked by superb Bali United. More money in the bank. Excellent stuff from Boaz. He's still got it. Was he now 32? Um, brilliant, brilliant stuff from him. Uh, who have we look got here? Gaze running his eyes over Nuri for the next Iraqi squad. That's all fair enough. We'll have a quick look at the Champions League table, and that is a really, really good position to be in. We have played two of our three home games, though, but um, yeah, we we just and we do have John Book at home next, but uh, yeah, we need we do need some more points still, don't we? Anyway, guys, wait right there. We'll be back next to get our Champions League. No, what are we doing? Our <laughs> Liga One defense underway against Percerella. Okay, guys, welcome back, welcome back. We are about to get our league season, our league defense underway. Now, we're playing Posterella. Now, we will remember them. I think we had a 7-5 against them last season. So, because where, where do we check past meetings, actually? Uh, I'm sure we had a 7-5. It's here somewhere. Where is past meetings? It's staring me in the face, and I can't see it. Um, opposition report. It's here somewhere, isn't it? Where is it? Stat pack. Uh, all right, I know where to find it. If we go here, and we go here, and it's past meetings. I'm sure we had a 7-5. Oh, no, it was a 3-4. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. And Malia uh, and uh, Hamdi won it right at the end after they came back. I do remember that now. Uh, who was it that we had the 7-5 the five, five against? I thought it was them. Obviously not. Anyway, I'm uh, getting sidetracked, aren't I? Let's have a look at what we're expecting from them. They're a, uh, a, uh, a AJ, is it? Uh, uh, Santoso. Doesn't sound right, team. Um... We can see there, they're an attacking, standard playing style. We look at the analysis report here. We are expecting them to come out in a 4-4-2. Uh, this was likely a friendly game, though. So, th yeah, bear that in mind. It's probably not the strongest opposition that they're facing. And this is the team we're sending out. We're pretty much uh, sending out the same team. Just one change, I think, uh, due to fitness. So, Lusau continues in goal. And Dika, Basna, Demersen, and Letzenen as a back four. Yuri Siswanto comes in uh, for Melvin, basically. And Lily Pally moves into the advanced playmaker role. Melvin... Still coming back from injury, 87%. Just a little bit low, uh, even though Lily Pally and Endig, a few here, are in the high 80s. 87, I just think it's a little bit too low. Um, so we'll make that change in midfield. It's Malia Fenny and Harry Addy to continue with Boaz up top. Um, let's see what we can do. So they are in the 4-4-2. Uh, I do wonder you know, if, if this is the best formation to play. I think what we might need to do a little bit is sort of experiment some a little bit with, with formations. Uh, what do you want to say here? Uh, where the favourites where the favourites give the fans a performance. Let's go with that. Uh, some calm. We have faith. I mean, we are looking better this year, aren't we? Uh, especially defensively, more so maybe than, than attack. So that's that's a good thing. Um, we do need to we do need to be more consistent in the league, don't we? And what did I say we conceded last year? Like we over fifty goals. So if that can improve, then we should be in for a much much better season. Here we go with Nuri over a free kick. He's going for goal. That's a little, <laughs> little bit selfish, perhaps, by Nuri. But we've seen him score from similar areas before, so uh, it's not completely out of the realms of possibility he could have uh, scored that. But decent enough start. We're bossing possession. We're not really giving them a sniff in terms of chances, but. Here we go with a highlight. Can we win this ball back up the pitch? Can we get to that? And Dika is there. Now, transfer window, it does have a just under a week to go. I'm not expecting anything else. Uh, if something else comes up, then obviously we'll, we'll look to we'll look to make a signing. But I think we're pretty much set for this season. Boaz, nice little ball there for Malia Fenny. We've got, oh, he doesn't over, nor the overlapping run. And Harry Arty gets his head a fourth goal already this season for Harry Addy. The overlapping run from Letson. I thought that's where Malia Fenny was going with the ball as well. But he's uh, sold everybody down the creek. He's uh, locked it in. A wonderful cross. And Harry Addy is there. Look at this. Letson with a great overlapping run. I thought for sure he was making, laying it out there. Not to be. And Harry Addy for a winger. He's not bad in the air, is he? I think most of those four goals have been headers at the back post. 
So really, really good stuff from him. And we go again. Boaz, no, he can't quite keep possession there. We've essentially come straight back. There's not been much time passed since the goal. Now, hopefully, we're not going to slip back into bad habits in the league and be conceding goals for fun soon after we score. Uh, or when we take solid leads and then letting teams back in. We don't want any of this this year, boys. We want to have a much more comfortable season if we can. Um, it's a bit of a slow nothing highlight. Is the goalkeeper going to do something silly? We're kind of backing off of him. Boaz goes to closing down eventually. We win the header there with Demerson. Here we go with Lily Pally and Siswanto exchanging passes. We've got three men there in Dika. Down the line, there we go. He does find Harry Addy. Back in for Siswanto. Come on, boys. Strike like a snake. Come on. Nuri, there's a good ball. It's Endika. Endika crosses in. Oh, it's a tap-in for Malia Fenny. And that's his first goal of the season. Endika, I think that might be his first assist. I'm trying to think back to Champions League games previously. I don't remember him getting any um, good run, though, wasn't it? Well picked out by Nuri as well. Good ball to find him. Uh, one touch to steady himself. A driven cross. And Harriati, I mean, maybe just not put it straight back through the keeper next time <laughs> as we know keepers at this level tend not to make saves and we've come literally straight back from the kickoff are we going to let them back in the game or are we going to potentially kill it off Elettonen's done well there to win that here we go with Melia Fanny in for Siswanto there's a lot of space through the middle I did take it off I uh, just to show you I did take it off exploit the flanks because we definitely look better um you know when we just sort of played wherever the space was last time out against the Japanese so uh, we'll start like that now and just see how that goes. This one, so there's a good ball over there for Endika again. What's he got? Nice little ball down the line. Harry Hardy's just let, his touch is letting down. And what I thought was going to be a Bali highlight, I'm now a little bit worried. It's not going to be like that. No, no need to fear. Endika wins back a terrible clearance, really, wasn't it? It was to nobody. Not nowhere near a blue shirt for them. Siswanto's done well there for Lily Pally. Lily Pally for Malia Fenny. What's he got for Siswanto? Have it, Siswanto. Oh, that's a stunning strike from Hendro Siswanto. And that is his second of the year, our third of the game. And 22 minutes in, and this is looking as though it might just be job done. We'll demand a little bit more again. Next uh, comment, I think, or next shout, I should say, will be some praise. If you're wondering where Evan Dimas is, we haven't seen him yet. He's still coming back from injury. Um, he's been caught up to the Indonesian squad. I'm hoping he'll get some, a little bit of game time with them. He was, he was at, I think, 70 or high 70s, maybe low 80s fitness. Uh, and his match sharpness was like nothing, like, like in the 30s or 40s. So um, I haven't given him a game here. Like I say, I'm hoping maybe for Indonesia he'll get some game time. And, and then by next episode, uh, we should have him back and firing in the starting lineup. Ideally, he would have started this game instead of Siswanto, but as we've seen, Siswanto's done okay. Another ball into the box. This one's hacked clear. Oh, we sold ourselves up the river a little bit short there, Demersen. Demersen hasn't quite been the rock-solid defender I was hoping to get uh, when we when we sort of put him in the team for this year. We do have Yama, of course, as a backup to him. He, he's not on the bench, basically, because Kayo can cover right back as well in an emergency whereas Yama can't. So that's why we have Kayo on the bench uh, instead of him. Um, but Yama is very much... There's a cracking ball for Malaya. Fenny! Oh, could he have squared it for Boaz? Maybe from that situation, you do want him going for goal. He had it. It was a relatively good chance. We get the corner, though. Harry Addy knocks it in. It's back post. Basner's there. Oh, big Barry Basner. Can't quite find one of his teammates with the uh, with the knock back in towards them uh, and that I was just a little bit worried there we were going to find ourselves getting hit on the break a little bit of complacency and disinterestness disinterestness sure um which worries me a little bit but at three nil it's essentially job done we'll give it an assertive don't get complacent here we've looked really really good that half um so we'll go an assertive don't get complacent um we'll get some can we get him interested with some passion maybe we can uh, we've got calm-looking players. That's okay. Calm players are good with me. Uh, more to come from all of you, please, here, boys. I don't like that Boaz is looking complacent. It might be a game where perhaps we could look to give uh, give Spasajevic some game time up top. He did well when he came... Well, the team did better when he came on against uh, against the, the... What they called? Satyama or Uriya Red Diamond. So maybe... Um, you know, he had a role in that. We did switch him to an advanced forward, didn't we? So maybe that's something else we can look at doing here. Uh, Lily Pally was a little bit match fatigued coming in. What we might do is maybe split this game with Melvin. No, you know what we'll do? We'll give Setabudi a game uh, for him. 
No, because I was gonna, that's for, that would be for Nuri, wouldn't it? Ideally, I was going to push Nuri forward. All right, so let's give Melvin. Let's split the game between Lily Pally and Melvin. Um, we'll do that. I'm thinking maybe Setia Buddy. Let's have a look at who's tied there. Setia Buddy for Nuri. That works for me. And then we have one sub left. One of our fullbacks could possibly do with a break. Um, having played sort of two games back to back with the international break. Here we go. Demerson. Can he take a free kick? He's not the worst. Let's hit the post. Um, with the international break, I kind of figured let's just use our best team, hopefully. And it's looking like it will be get off to a winning start in the league. Uh, and then go from there. Let's give, uh, let's give, where is he? Farge in a game at left back. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then let's, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Give him a little bit more praise. This has been second half, been not the best. A little bit of a snooze fest, perhaps. But first half was really, really good. Look at that. A cluster of goals there. Who was it? It was Hariadi, it was Siswanto, and it was uh, Melia Fenny, wasn't it, that got the goals for us. Let's try and keep this clean sheet. There's 10 seconds to go. Lucelle is there, claims it comfortably. It's just good to have a goalkeeper in goal that you have some faith is going to catch the ball when it comes towards you. Well done, boys. A good, solid 3-0 win. Our defense is looking so much better this year. Um, I'm going to say just well done, boys. Just well done. So there we go. Bali United hammer Purcella. Uh, I don't know that we particularly hammered them, um, but it was a good, solid performance nonetheless. Uh, Siswanto, that was a really good strike from him, wasn't it? And, oh, no, it was Boaz. Was it Boaz? I'm getting the two games confused now. I can't remember who got the goals for us. Um, well, have a look. Well, you probably all remember. I am just a bit of a scatterbrain, apparently, and can't remember. It was it was Melia Fanny. I was right. Uh, so there we go. That is it for today, though, guys. A quick glance at the league table there. We are top, well, near enough to top. It's three points uh, early, early days, so we don't really pay attention to it just yet. But I said, that's it for today. If you have enjoyed that, and that was five goals, two clean sheets. Never thought we'd say that. <laughs> with this Bali United team last year. Really, really good. We'll be back next time. I think what we'll do is we'll come back for Buriram uh, in the Champions League away from home. That is a big chance for us to, if we were to win that, and um, John Book were to take points off Setiama, we would have set, we would be qualified from the group. So we could actually qualify from the group next time out. So that's huge. And I think what we'll do is after that, we host Arima. Now, they, are, they, they were right up there with us last year, weren't they? Um... So I think we'll do those two games next time. But until then, guys, I've been Ozzy Bell. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.